So before we get started, there's one thing you have to understand about CSS, and that's the way that we target things with CSS. Now, up until CSS3, there was basically only three or four things that you needed to worry about targeting these. CSS selectors were things like an ID, a class, an HTML element, or there's one that will allow you to select all the elements. With CSS3, now there's actually a ton of different selectors that you can choose that helps you target different parts of the code um, and just different things within there. I don't want to get too hung up on that. I mean, we really won't be exploring those in this class um, just because I don't want you to get overwhelmed with it at this point. That's something more for an advanced CSS class, but at the end I will be showing you where you can find out more about those selectors. Now what these selectors do is to help you define your web page and, and allow you to target certain items on the page easier. Now that may not make a whole lot of sense right now, but as we get into the class, just keep those things in mind. We'll be working most of these CSS selectors throughout the entire course, so, so just understand those are the things that you're going to want to pay attention to as we move forward in this class.